today will be difficult, but tomorrow, good riding. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebs who almost died while filming. That was the finest feeling I ever took. A split second later, I'm going nine feet over the edge of this sort of concrete uh, uh, jetty. And then suddenly, these waves came out of nowhere. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at British stars who almost perished on set, and discussing the events that led up to the mishaps. Which of these near-death stories shocked you the most? Don't be shy and let us know in those comments below. Number 8. Idris Elba – Beasts of No Nation We think we can all agree that putting your cast in danger for the sake of a shot is not the best course of action. So I see, what are we to be doing with this thing? While filming in Ghana for this Netflix original film, Elba was instructed to act by a large waterfall. Idris accidentally slipped on a rock and came close to a 90-foot drop. He thought he helped grab a tree to help regain his footing, but it ended up being a small branch. If we have the momentum and we have the power, why wait? If not for being saved last second by a member of security, the fall would have certainly been fatal for the acclaimed actor. Number 7. Dominic Purcell – Prison Break This Cheshire-born TV actor has possibly the most wince-inducing injury you'll find on today's list. He got popped. I don't know how. Whilst filming abroad, Purcell was the victim of a set malfunction when a large iron bar fell on top of him. He was busted open badly by the collision and immediately airlifted to a medical facility. The uh, scar here um, was, uh, that's where the, the white of my skull was showing. Perhaps if he wasn't such a big strong bloke, he would have been left with a lot worse than a broken nose and exposed skull. Number 6. Gerard Butler – Chasing Mavericks Almost dying for a box office flop is certainly a terrifying thought. Frosty, that's impossible. Oh, more so than you know. But that's what happened to Scottish hardman Gerard Butler while filming for this biographical picture about a big wave server. You can see where this is going. And all I'm gonna need is for your mom to sign me a permission slip, accepting responsibility for anything that's gonna happen along the way. Butler had trained in surfing before filming. But when it came to the big day, he was a little out of his depth, as an accident led to him being submerged underwater for a full minute. And I'm thinking, all right, I need to get up, I need to get up. And then I felt the next wave go, and it all started all over again. He was rushed to hospital afterwards, but went right back to the water once he was medically cleared. Number 5. Peter O'Toole – Lawrence of Arabia What do you think about Yembo? I think it is far from Damascus. Anytime you're filming, you have to anticipate things going wrong. But falling off an animal is never something you can prepare for, as Audrey Hepburn experienced just two years before this accident when she fell off a horse and had to put filming for The Unforgiven on hold whilst hospitalized. In the case of Peter O'Toole, it was in the film that many tout as the greatest of all time, Lawrence of Arabia where he found himself in peril after falling off a camel. Then when you are ready to go, hit her on the shoulder and say, hut, hut, hut. Hut, hut, hut. The animal was put in a panicked frenzy and chucked him off in front of horses. Incredibly, T.E. Lawrence, the man who the film was based on, was also almost killed by falling off a camel. Number 4. Kate Winslet – Titanic Few things are scarier than a near-drowning incident. Can you imagine having to run from a giant wave? During the Titanic scene in question, Kate Winslet caught her coat on a gate and got pulled underwater. James Cameron continues to dismiss the idea that she was put in any real danger, claiming they only let her think she was going to drown. He also claims to know what he's talking about because he's almost drowned on many occasions. 
Let's put this incident aside for a second and ask ourselves, why does James Cameron keep nearly drowning? Number 3. Daniel Day-Lewis – Gangs of New York Perhaps more than any other actor, Daniel Day-Lewis is a master of method acting. But sometimes, he got a bit too into character and found himself in deep trouble. And may the Christian Lord guide my hand against your Roman popery! Whilst filming the movie Gangs of New York, Day-Lewis wanted to get into the headspace of someone from that time period, and as such, refused to wear a proper coat during a rainy day on set. This led to him getting pneumonia, which of course he refused medicine for because once again, he wanted to be period accurate. I'm New York. Don't you never come in here empty-handed again. This little stunt almost cost him his life, but thankfully, the team was able to convince him to seek medical help just in time. Number 2. Jason Statham – The Expendables 3 You'd feel pretty safe hanging out with the Terminator, Rambo, and Terry Crews, wouldn't you? How much we get paid for this? Not enough. In fact, when these guys are together, the biggest fear might be that the continent they're on could run out of protein. Yes, Jason Statham did nearly die doing a stunt for Expendables 3. While driving a truck, the brakes gave out and the actor drove off a cliff into the Black Sea. So, like, 60 feet at the bottom of the Black Sea, stuck in the mud, thinking, hang on a minute, how am I going to get out of this? This is how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> the transporter's driving may have let him down, but fortunately, his expert-level diving skills helped him escape the wreckage and swim to shore. You right? Yeah? <laughs> Number 1. Richard Hammond – Top Gear are you now a mental? No! <laughs> Hammond has made a bit of a habit of getting hurt on this motoring television program, but the one that was flooded across newspaper covers was his brush with death whilst driving a dragster. Every part of my body is full of adrenaline! Oh, yes! The vehicle was moving almost 290 miles per hour when his tyre gave out and he was sent crashing. But of course, Hammond couldn't stop there, as he was once again on the receiving end of a near-fatal crash whilst filming for the Amazon series, The Grand Tour. This time getting him sent to hospital after crashing a rim at Concept One. He's like a human crash dummy or something. Hammond, when was the last time you went home after work not in an air ambulance? Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.